Competition comes in many forms like athletics and games of skill. Universities like Southwest Minnesota State University in Marshall, Minnesota have long competed at the collegiate level with varsity sports programs, but competitions in games of skill haven't been as prominent. To better serve more of its students and give them opportunities for real competition, SMSU now offers eSports as one of its varsity athletic programs. Esports or competitive video game competitions have been around since the 1970s and have risen into mainstream culture with games like Halo, Counter-Strike, and League of Legends. The support of SMSU's president, Kumara Jayasuriya, has been essential for the establishment of SMSU's esports program. Esports is one of the fastest growing sports in the country and in the world. So we like to give our students an opportunity to come and compete in uh, several different sports, including eSports. And students who are uh, playing eSports and other sports are more engaged with the uh, university. And students who are engaged uh, have a higher rate of persistence and completion. SMSU now joins 170 plus universities officially recognized by the National Association of Collegiate Esports, or NACE for short. NACE is responsible for organizing collegiate esports similar to the NCAA with other college sports. NACE membership would not have been possible without help from SMSU IT specialist and its head esports coach, Spencer Lawaji. NACE helps SMSU and other colleges by providing structures that these colleges can grab onto. It helps organize these tournaments that are a lot less random than the open market and it provides them a list of games that are popular and what the upcoming games are going to be, as well as what other colleges are competing in now so that SMSU can field the team that is competitive at a high level. Both guidance from NACE and Coach Lawaji have been essential for establishing the climate of the esports program. My expectations for my esports students is that they have competitive integrity, they have respect for both their teammates and their opponents, that they have a strong work ethic, that they're willing to learn, and above all, that they have academic success. Esports isn't just about playing video games, it helps students grow as individuals. Being in esports provides students with a lot of powerful skills that are useful later in life. Being in esports requires top-notch communication, timing, and strategy. These can be used in the workplace when coming up with creative ideas for projects, working with your colleagues, or having a lot of attention to detail. Improving at eSports, like traditional sports, is a process of practice, reviewing, and critiquing in-game decisions and mistakes. Guiding this process alongside the head coach are team captains like Smash Ultimate Captain, Brandon Lyons. As a team captain, my job is to help foster an environment for the team to improve. Some of the things we do is practice twice a week, review past games, and analyze the other team strategies. But the reason why I decided to come compete for SMSU's esports team was my competitive nature. SMSU allowed me to showcase my abilities at a competitive level and compete for the college, which is something I love to do. With 33 members in its first semester, SMSU's esports program is off to a good start and moving towards success. Continued support from the university will allow the program to grow and give all students a place where they truly belong. And I envision SMSU having over 100 students competing in different esports and also having our competitions in a big arena with lots of spectators. A successful esports program here at SMSU is a safe and inclusive place for people of all backgrounds to get together and compete in something that they're passionate about. What I've gained from esports is becoming more connected with not only my team, but with fellow students who share a similar interest on playing on a competitive level and overall just love playing video games.